Alright, hey guys, so in this video I'm gonna sh oops, in this video I'm gonna show you, um, so I made an API, um, I mean my own API, it's still gonna be improving, um, so, right here, hold up, so this is the, um, this is the website, it's coming soon, um, I'm making it soon, dot, the front page, but as of right now, I have a few endpoints, and this is one of the endpoints, where it gives you a random riddle, a question and an answer. Okay. So um so now we're going to start. So I'm going to uh, uh let's do a message embed. So cons message embed it goes require discord.js. All right, and then I'm going to do const axios it goes require axios. Okay, and then now we're gonna do module.exports. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna name it, what should I name it? Uh, a riddle. Uh, um, I'll just leave that for now. But now, this is, I'm gonna make it a sync. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Now, this is where the actual code starts. So, if you wanna like, you know, implement the code with you, with your project. This is where the code starts, for me. So, all right. Then now, what what can we do? So, well, we can do a, a bunch of things. So, let's say, all right. So let's let's make a const const URL equals. Then we're just gonna do, we could just do this URL right here. Const URL is that URL. All right. And then now we could run a try catch here. All right. So first, let me just let data and response. Let me just define those. And then should I run? Yeah, I'll run a try catch. And then I'll do response equals await axios dot get and then the URL. And then we're gonna do the data equals response dot data. All right, that's the code. And then I'm gonna run a catch. We're gonna put it here. Then we're gonna just return. Oh, do we wanna do a message? Yeah, we can do message dot channel. Oops, message dot channel send. An error has occurred. Please try again. Okay. Then we can console log this data. Console dot log. Uh, data data alright so now let me just go in my discord server and yes yeah, so alright uh, should I run it? yeah uh, yeah I forgot the <laughs> I haven't been, I haven't worked on worked on this in a while so npm run server I haven't run I haven't worked on this project in a while all right, so where's Riddle? Um, I'll just close this and just close that. All right, so now if I do, I believe the prefix is, so if I do this, M Riddle, and then look, it returns you with a question and an answer. All right, so this is my own API, and if we run it again, it should return us with something else. Look, yeah, boom. So this is the API I made, and all right, so let's do const, oops, const embed equals new message embed. All right, then we can, we can that's the title to a riddle. Then we can add that add fields. Okay. All right. Then, oops, what's there right here? Oops. Wait. Oh, that's why it's doing that. All right. So, what can our fields be? For name. 
So it can be data dot question. Honestly, description. I think these are the params. I'm not sure. Data dot answer. I don't quote me. Um, all right, so let's. Oh, I forgot to send a message. So message dot channel dot send embed. All right, let's make this an away. Sorry about that. You put an await here because I made an async function. So and then now if we m um, riddle and then un undefined. So what's the error? And hmm. So description num. I'm not mistaken, I believe that's Oh value. <laughs> I forgot. Alright, I haven't I haven't did it. I haven't worked on a bot in a while. Sorry about that. So then now I believe this should this should work. And then yeah. So there it goes. This is a riddle. I can do a I can change this to say random riddle. And then yeah. So I can do M riddle. So if I do this now, should say a random riddle. All right. And then I forgot how to make the fields hidden. Um, I honestly forgot how to <laughs> hide a Discord message. I forgot how to do it. No. Yeah, let me give me one second, and I'll three. All right, I'm back. Um, I forgot <laughs> I forgot how to uh, cover the message so what we can do it here um, I'll just do all right so dome double pipes that's how you do it right here and then add another plus sign and then double pipes so that as you can see if I do M riddle I would, it would do it like that boom and then we could also add we could say answer and then a double pipe like this Boom. We also can add it to a colon right here. <sighs> and then, boom. All right. And then we can also, if you want, oops, not right there, right here. If you want, you can set color. Um, hash. I don't know. It's a good color. F F F F F. F, F. I don't. I think you can do it white. I'm not sure if you can do white. Oh, oops. That's on six Fs. There you go. I guess you can't do white. Um, I don't know why white's not working. So let's just do F3, F3, F3. That's like a grayish. So I'm just... There you go. That works. Then if you click the answer right there, it's silent. So that's basically that's basically the thing. I made my own API, so you guys can use my API. There's no API key required. Um, I do have some steps, so like you can't abuse the API. Um, I have it so like per IP. Well, I'm not going to say what I have, but it's going to be you. I have it set up so you can't abuse the API basically. Um, and if my API ever grows. I might add a API key requ requirement, but as of right now, that's not a that's not gonna happen. So as of right now, the do the domain is until further notice. It's it's no API key. HerokoApp.com. I'm gonna be adding my own custom domain. So probably by the time this video is out, and in the description is gonna be the updated link. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good one, and take care.